Hello again, a new day, a new project. And here we have an Akasom 4-way power splitter. And look here, people. It's looking like uh, outdoor, four ports, splitter with N female connector. And by the book, it's working from 800 to 1000 megahertz. Four ways, of course. Insertion loose less than 6.5 dB. Ripple 0.1 dB or less. Isolation more than 30 dB. Isolation between the ports. So, let's give a try. Let's try. And also, we have cables, adapters. And this is wonderful because we can have some proper tests. Let me connect the nano VNA to the computer, to the software. Let's have a range from 820 megahertz to 900 megahertz. Okay. And I'm loading a calibration. And this is cable. Okay. The first step for us is to check the cables and to write down the loses because eventually we'll extract these numbers from the whole picture. Okay, so we have all right, I need a piece of paper. The first cable, the short one, have a lose of 0.162 very nice with a length of what 123 meters no way <laughs> okay let me have this on 868 megahertz the first marker the red one so we'll just take a look on that from now on is this one the red one that's our frequency on lower helium let me have the other cable right and this have a lose of once again 040435 okay we'll do the numbers later now let's connect channel 0 goes to the input and let's have a little schematic here to write down the numbers. Okay. So that's the splitter input channel 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's have a test for channel 1 and sweep. And we have minus 7.298. Yeah, pretty constant result channel 2. There we go. 7 1 minus 7 1 5 8. Nice. 3 minus 7 1 5 9. Very nice. And the last one, the last port, 7.389 minus 7.38 and 9 it's looking like the extremes I mean 1 and 4 they are a little bit lower lose or bigger lose in fact let's try again 7 yeah same 7390 7389 the first measurement okay very constant now let me have an inter port measurement. So let's try one with four. We should have more than uh, 30 dB, minus 30 dB, like they advertise. Look at this number here, the red marker. Show me. Okay, so port one with port four. Let's have a test let's have a try and we have a minus 12 with uh, at uh, 868 we have a 
uh, minus 15 okay minus 15 number 2 e4 minus 12 minus 12 okay number 3 with 4 well it's looking like the isolation it's less than they advertise so but this shouldn't be a problem of course and this is number 12 also 12 okay let's try this like 2 to 3 minus 10 2 to 3 minus 10 well the isolation it's not like they advertised but that shouldn't be a problem not at all uh, let's say 3 with 1 we did it already 4 2 we did it let me try and we have minus 13 so 4 this is 4 with 2 yeah everything is fine but the isolation in between ports is not like uh, minus 30 db well these are the numbers we can't change anything anyway the splitter it's okay uh, input output it's fine after my opinion and now let's have a look inside let's see if this one it's uh, waterproof by the case it can be used outside but now we have to see if we have a gasket or something you know to to keep the moisture or the you know humidity water elements away we'll see that in a second normally this kind of uh, n-type connector they are waterproof they have uh, it should be a rubber gasket yes it is you see here there we have a rubber gasket which uh, close the connector very nice and keeps the water away from okay so we got no gasket we can't use it outside this way but i suppose if we have a, a little silicone um, paste you know sealing all around and then the top then it can be used for outside without problems let's take a look inside here so there are traces different length traces and also dimensions you see are decreasing and here we have a few resistors yes very nice done and i can see here a little bit of tuning yes you can see the pcb it's, uh, it's cut of some kind the numbers here are GGTX GF0401 yeah it's looking good if you want to use it outside you need a gasket here and uh, I think some silicone will do the job even that kind for uh, auto parts you know the red one ceiling that will be perfect so it's very nice done it's solid but don't forget to have a seal here and uh, let's uh, let's do some numbers here first of all we have uh, the cable loses one zero five nine seven okay zero six let's say to make this easier and faster so we have seven point two nine eight minus six oh seven point two six sixty nine pretty close with uh, with the advertised 
minus 6558 okay very close so I don't want to spend more time with that so we bet around 6.6 6.5 6.6 db loses minus of course loses for uh, each port so this goes exactly by the specification uh, we'll see how it's going in time but for now uh, I think it's a really nice product good uh, connectors and type they are really strong with low loses and stuffs and uh, okay that's it for today I hope it's useful please like please uh, subscribe and uh, of course if you have any question write them down I'll do the best to answer most important thing of course don't forget to have fun bye bye